Hey guys, it's Beth aka Beth Bear and today I'll be making my April pickups video. So as you can see, I'm going to give you a quick pan of all the stuff I've picked up this month. As you can see, I've picked up a lot of stuff this month. Um, I think I'll start off with the PlayStation 4 games. These are all stuff I either got off of Amazon or eBay. Uh, some are still sealed. I haven't played, got around to playing some of these just yet, but I'm sure I will do eventually. So first off, we have J Stars. Uh, now, this is sealed, as you can see, so I haven't got around to playing this yet. But I've been wanting this uh, fighter for quite a while now, but when it first came out, it was really expensive, and it's dropped significantly in price now, so I decided I'd pick it up. I think I got it for roughly around £20, something like that, which isn't too bad. As you can see, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, it's a fighter, and it's got a lot of my favourite characters in there. As you can see, uh, it's like an anime-based fighter and it's got some really cool characters in you can see like the really common ones like uh, naruto you've got goku goku and some other awesome characters in there you've got characters from uh you i think that's isn't that luffy mm -hmm. so you've got like all those and i think there's bleach characters in there as well so that's a good mashup good fighting game so can't wait to play that next is Tukaden Kawami, which is uh, the Sony or PlayStation version of Monster Hunter, basically. You go around uh, hunting different monsters, building up your armour, weapons and things like that. I have given this a blast and it is quite fun to play. Uh, the mechanics, the fighting mechanics can be a bit difficult to get used to at first, uh, but I, I find that the more it gets played the more you get used to it so I'm enjoying this title so far because I really did like Monster Hunter on the Wii and the 3DS so I decided to pick this one up purely because I heard it was like Monster Hunter so that's that one. Next, pick this one up, I actually picked this one up for my fiance but I'm sure I'll give it a go eventually as well and that's the new Ratchet and Clank for the PlayStation 4. Uh, I haven't played this one, but my fiancé has, and he says it's quite good so far. The graphics are absolutely stunning on this game, by the way, guys. Really nice graphics. Um, so great, great title, good pickup. Next, we have Street Fighter V, another fighter. I don't usually pick up fighters because I'm not brilliant at these kind of games, but I really like the look of this and I'm, I like Street Fighter games and again this is another game that has some beautiful graphics. A lot of people have complained that there's some issues with this game, um, they didn't include certain features in the game. So that's a bit disappointing but I'm sure it's good all the same. Again it's sealed, uh, I didn't get this that long ago so I really need to get around to playing this one. I also got... Uh, the Matching Fight Pads Pro. This is made by, I believe it's made by Mad Cats. And I picked this up to go with Street Fighter V. Again, it looks really awesome. The pad is actually huge. Um, but I'm sure it'll be really uh, handy for for use with Street Fighter. So, that, so that's that. Okay, so over here... Um, I went to so next I'll talk about some pickups I got from a local market store in my local town center called Toy Army. Now they do a like uh, the guy there does like a large selection of uh, different games for different systems. I picked up a very common title here for the Nintendo 64, but I didn't have it in my collection. It's 1080 snowboarding. Uh, I, I don't think I paid more than £5 for that. It's just the cart, but the cart's not in the best condition, as you can see. Uh, I'm not too bothered as long as I've got the game, so that's 1080 snowboarding. Now it's the more interesting pickups. Now, this is Hogs of War, which is a, th a 3D version of Worms, basically. Uh, except it's not it's not worms it's it's pigs, 
Now it says six ninety nine on the front. We didn't pay that. Me and my fiance, we actually got it for three pound on eBay. We've seen this go for twenty pounds, so that's a very very good deal. We're really happy with that pickup. Now it didn't come with a manual, but the disc is in fine condition, so that's hogs of war. Next we've got Alundra, the first one. Now we've seen this on eBay go for about twenty five to thirty pounds. We picked this up for, from a Toyami for £15. Now, it's missing the... No, it's actually it's actually complete. I think it's just missing the map. But other than that, it's, it's in... The disc is in great condition. It's just got a crack along there. But I can easily replace the case. That's not an issue. So that's Alundra. So that's all the pickups that I've got from uh, Toyami at my local market okay so i've also been doing um some search for games i went to cardiff not too long ago and i went in a retro game store called super tomato which is actually a pretty cool store again a huge variety of retro stuff ranging from atari it's got n64 playstation everything so I picked up a few things here. Uh, we got Crazy Races, which is made by Konami. It's for the Game Boy Advance. It's kind of like a Mario Kart. It's actually really, really fun. And I, I enjoyed this from what I've played of it quite a lot. So that's that. Can't remember how much I paid for it, but it's, uh, it's actually a good pickup. Next. I've been looking for one of these for a while and everywhere I go doesn't seem to have these in stock, which is a bit annoying, but managed to get a, a memory card for the N64. So that's that. I don't think I paid too much for it. So that's that. Then we've got cartridge N64 for Buck Bumble. Uh, I haven't heard much about this, but it was quite cheap, and I thought I'd give it a go. So that was it was six ninety nine. Um, I just decided I'd pick that up and give it a go. Looks quite fun. So that's that. Next, we got a three D platformer, one of the one that's quite well known. So that's Gex sixty four Enter the Gecko. Uh, this is the only N sixty four game that I own boxed because they didn't just have the cart; they had it boxed. So. I got it boxed. <laughs> um, so, yep, 3D platformer, and um, it's a lot of fun. So, that's Gex. Next, we have Burai Fighter, which is a shooter, um, a bit like a shooter map type game. Now, the cart's again in a bit of a tatty condition, but overall, it's not too bad. $7.99 for that under a tenner you know i'm happy to pick that up and add it to the collection so this is my only nez purchase for the month but you know it's a good one so there we go i've also got a dreamcast game swords of the berserk guts rage and i've heard a lot of good things about this um a lot of people say it's a hidden gem for the console and i wanted to try it out for myself i think it's a bit like a hack and slash and it looks like loads of fun, so I picked that one up. So that's sort of the Berserk Guts Rage. Then I got a box copy of Time Crisis, the first one on the PlayStation, and it's all complete. It's got the the um, gun in there, and it's it's got all the manuals and so on. So yeah, uh, I got quite a good deal on that. Okay guys, so on to Xbox and we uh, sorry, Xbox One and Wii U pickups. So I only got pretty much two Xbox One games, but I did buy a load of digital titles. I'm not including them in this video because I always seem to get confused which games I get which month because I don't always keep track. So uh, it was titles like uh, they released a bunch of the, the retro uh, games on the Xbox One recently, like um, Galaga, Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man and Dig Dug. I, put, I picked them up. Then there was some other things as well, um, but I won't bother mentioning those. So the first title is Trackmania Turbo, which is actually really fun. A lot of crazy tracks, and it's also crazy ass hard. So, 
yeah, it's not an easy title by all means, but it is a bunch of fun, so that's Trap Mania. Then I got the collector's edition of Dark Souls 3, which I'm really happy to have. Now, we're pretty much at the end of the first playthrough. We're on the last boss, and this game has been a blast. So much fun to play, and... Uh, the collector's edition was dead nice too. There was some good, there was some nice things inside. So if you were wondering what was in there, you can check out check out the video I did. I actually did an unboxing of this. So yeah, uh, it's not up on my channel yet though, so I might have to post that before you can actually watch it. But I I plan on uploading that soon. So the only Wii U game was a Pokken Tournament, which is made by the makers of Tekken, I believe. That's why it's Pokken Tournament. But it is a, a, a fighter with Pokemon characters, basically. But it's like a, it's not like um, the N64 version of like Pokemon Stadium, where it's sort of turn-based. This is just like a full-on fighter. And I also ended up purchasing the matching poker uh, poking tournament pro pad uh, made by um hurry so yeah uh the pad looks really comfortable actually and i'm sure it's really good to use with the game so i got those two and the last thing i'm going to talk about is all the ps1 purchases i got and there is a lot of them guys because uh as a kid PlayStation 1 was probably my favourite console and I'm trying to build up my collection again from when I was a kid because uh, all my games from when I was a kid, they're now gone, so I'm rebuilding my collection. So, as you know, I got Time Crisis, which I showed you, boxed with a light gun. I also purchased a second light gun so I can play multiplayer with my fiancé, so that's the second Namco gun. And I got a couple of a couple more light games to go with it. So we've got Point Blank 1, Point Blank 2 and Point Blank 3 which are uh, mini games, a uh, series of mini games that use the light gun. They're really really fun. I guess they're, they're kind of like uh, they're kind of like Bishy Bashy Special but with, with a light gun because Bishy Bashy is essentially a, a game with loads of mini games. This is the same but with a light gun and um, they're really good games guys so that's those. So next we got some race, uh, some racers. We got Speed Freaks, which is kind of Mario Kart like, except I wouldn't say it's as good, but it's very similar and it's still fun. So we've got Speed Freaks. Then we got Micro Maniacs, which is um, based off of Micro Machines, but it do it doesn't use vehicles. It's basically just characters running on on tracks some good tracks on the game um fun like bizarre looking characters so that's micromaniacs that's the two kind of racing style games then we've got bushido blade uh the first one i don't think the second one came out over here i could be wrong though but that's bushido blade really fun fighter where where um, battles can last like literally a couple of seconds or could go on for a while um, but it looks like it's got some uh, kind of badass uh, single shot moves um, so that's that then there's Galerians I've heard a lot of good things about this game I never owned it as a kid probably would have been too scary as a kid um, but this is a big game, guys. I think it's four discs, three discs. My apologies, it isn't four, it's three, definitely. Now, um, the the discs came in, like, practically mint condition. I got this for £6, and all the discs are mint, so I was quite happy with that pickup. Then I got Medieval 1 and 2, both with manuals, all complete. Um, I think I paid just under £30 for both, probably about £27 around there. Mint, really good condition. Um, I believe they're Adventure 
style games and again I never played these as a kid but I really wanted to try them out. Uh, my fiance knows the kind of genre and um, the kind of genre of games that I like and thinks that I really like these so uh, I picked these up so that's Medieval 1 and 2. Next an awesome music and rhythm game. So this is Parappa the Rapper, the hip hop hero and this like I said, just said, is a music and rhythm game that uses the buttons and you press them in time with the music. Um, I I should have the the uh, sequel to this um, in my next pickups video, which is Unjamalami, which actually I think I I prefer over Parappa the Rapper, just because it's guitar rather than rap, but. Parappa the Rap was really, really good. And now is probably my most expensive pickups of the month. And um, I'm quite happy to own these though. So first we have Tombi, the first one. Now this goes for crazy prices on eBay. Um, I've seen it sell anywhere between 100 to 150. Um, I managed to get this for 75, which it's still high, but it's not as bad as it could have been. Now, the condition of the disc is really, really good. Sadly, it's missing the actual case art, but the manual's in there, the disc's in there, the disc is in really good condition. So, that's Tombi win. I also ended up getting the second Tombi. Now, as you can see, the box is a bit different. That's because this is actually the rental version of um the actual game as you can say see it says this game belongs to choices you look inside rental only not for resale the disc is in really good condition um surprisingly in really good condition now i've seen this game go any for anywhere between 50 plus now i got this for 32 which was in my opinion a really good deal so i'm happy to have that in my collection so I think that about wraps it up for this month's pickups, guys. Thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. Thank you to all those who have comment, commented on my videos, rated my videos and subscribed because my channel has grown quite a bit and it's all thanks to you guys. So please keep up, um, please keep up the great work in helping me grow my channel. So catch you on the next video.